Hello, my name's Emily and I am a bad friend. I don't exactly have the largest group of friends in the world, but considering how awful I am at being a friend, I'm sort of surprised that I have any at all. I mean, I don't try to be a bad friend, I try to be a good friend, but I think it's just one of those things I'm not that good at. Some people aren't good at exercise, and some people aren't good at maths. And then there's me, who's not good at being a friend. I'm also not good at maths or exercise, but that's not what this is about. So to the friends I do have, I don't really know how you're putting up with me, because here are some things that I'm really bad at, that I probably should be better at, and... <sighs> gift giving. I am shocking at gift giving. Firstly, if I can even remember to purchase it on time, I'm probably not going to give it to you on your birthday. Sometimes I forget, sometimes I haven't got everything yet, sometimes I'll have the whole present and not the card, whatever the reason. If your birthday is in January, you'll expect your present around June. I am the queen of belated birthday gifts. Paying back money. I don't often borrow money from my friends, but occasionally we will get together and say buy a ticket to a concert or something like that, and a friend of mine will agree to buy all the tickets and then we'll give her the money, put it into her account. I always eventually do, but it takes me a really long time, basically just because I'm lazy. If you buy me something in advance and expect me to pay you back, I'll probably pay you back by the time the event rolls around. Keep me in touch. I'm bad at it. I'm horrible at keeping in touch. If I see you and I go, yeah, we should totally do something next week, we're not going to do something next week. I'm so sorry. I probably won't contact you, and if you don't contact me either, it's probably not going to happen. I always feel like I'm bothering people. I don't know, I just... Oh, I'm just so lazy. This is sort of along the same lines as the keeping in touch one, but organising things. And if you ask me to organise anything, I will be so overwhelmed by the sheer possibilities of everything that we might be able to do together and on what day and at what time that I will probably just decide not to do it at all. Borrowing things. I'm... oh... I have a bad track record with borrowing things. If you lend me something, don't expect it back within a reasonable time period. I have like a really bad memory. You are so lucky if I remember your birthday. Some of my closest friends, I'm not even 100% sure what date their birthday is on. It just goes in one ear and out the other. I just... Mm. If you're lucky, I might check Facebook on the day of your birthday and realise that it actually is your birthday. But don't count on me sending a message to you because I hate Facebook. Ugh. Mm, yeah, hate, hate might be a strong word. Um, maybe just extremely dislike Facebook and so I don't go on there very much and even if I do go on there and say that it's your birthday, I'm just gonna ignore it and maybe wish you happy birthday the next time I see you, which will probably be never because I don't leave the house. I'm not even really sure how I have friends at this point. I mean, I'm just... Ugh. I'm an, I'm an awful friend. I... Ugh. Maybe that's why I'm on YouTube. I mean, thank you to the lovely friends that I do have that put up with all this. Maybe if I just stopped being so lazy, I'd be a better friend, and then I would make more friends, and that would be great. And thank you to all the new friends that I've made through the lens of this camera thing and across the interwebs, because you don't have to put up with me doing most of this stuff. You don't expect anything from me, and that takes a great deal of pressure off of my life, and I love you all very much for that. Alright, so that's the video for today, guys. Feel free to leave a comment down below in that thing down there with some of the things that make you a bad friend. I'm sure you have them, because in the wise words of Hannah Montana, nobody is perfect. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up because I would appreciate that very much, Lee. It would make me feel a lot better about myself. You may or may not have already noticed that I uploaded a video a couple of days ago. It was a vlog from Splendor in the Grass 
That was meant to be last week's video, but I had lots of technical difficulties and couldn't actually get it up until I think Monday. So if you want to go and check that out, there'll be a link at the end of this. I'd really appreciate it because there were a lot of stuff ups and I really wouldn't want you to miss out. So don't forget to go ahead over there after this is finished and I will see you all next week. Bye! and now I look like I've been punched in the arm or had blood taken out of there which is actually what happened <laughs>